a giant king crab, snapped in the darkness of the deep, red and rocky. Off the US coast, another Goliath, a shark's remains in its jaws. Without sun, we could be on another planet. In a ghostly world where the wildlife is well adapted to the dark, where predators use enhanced senses to seek out their prey, where what we know about size doesn't seem to apply. Some of these monsters of the deep you won't believe are real. Others will keep you up at night. Some scenes are so rare, you might be seeing something for the first time. This is Deep Blue Discovery. The Midnight Zone, more than a thousand meters below the surface, and we're in a megalophobic nightmare. Typically, isopods are five centimeters long. This species can grow up to 70. It's a relative of the woodlouse and a fine example of deep sea gigantism. This animal's unnerving size and predatory instinct is a product of its environment. Low temperatures mean larger cells. The result, longer lives and bigger bodies. Where food is scarce, it pays to be huge, and natural selection has done its work. Nine hundred and twenty meters down off the coast of North Carolina, an opportunistic red deep sea crab finds a fish egg buffet. The chassis on crab in question isn't small, but something much larger is coming to crash the party. A giant king crab fancies the feast for itself. Its smaller opponent has no choice but to back off. These kings can have leg spans of nearly two meters. Very few creatures get in their way. Fifty meters down in the twilight zone, food is also hard to come by. A fallen swordfish is an opportunity too good to miss. Its final resting place becomes a feeding ground. Two deep sea species of shark, both dogfish varieties, gorge themselves on the flesh. Their large eyes, evolution's answer to the darkness. The swordfish is only recently deceased. In this harsh world, the carcass won't last long. These hungry sharks are considered apex predators, but in the deep, there's always a bigger beast. Distracted by the feeding frenzy, a shark falls victim to a massive wreckfish. It's not often you see a shark swallowed whole. Oh my god! <laughs> In the deep, sharks are never more vulnerable than when they're still in the egg. What you're seeing here is rare, as unusual as it is beautiful. But as we go deeper, things get stranger. Welcome to the abyss. The sea floor, 3,500 meters below the surface. Abyssal grenadier fish are relatively common at these depths. These are exceptionally large though. Adults usually measure just 40 centimeters. 
Little is known about these animals. We can't even say for certain how they reproduce. We do know their diet changes as they get older and that they're very well adapted to live in the deepest, darkest depths of the ocean. Deep sea organisms often have long tails. Why? Because long tails translate into speed. In this harsh environment, that's important for predators and for prey. Confronted by a hungry deep sea eel, the squid stood no chance. Other animals are more elusive. Scientists have recorded a Dumbo octopus nearly 7,000 metres below the surface. That's more than four miles down. These ghostly creatures are rarely seen. When they are, they're often found in the midnight zone. Dumbo octopuses have camouflage capabilities, enough sometimes, but not always, to evade the animals that eat them, mainly sharks and giant squid. To catch them on camera is an incredible experience. Advances in marine research technology mean we know more than ever about the deep ocean. How else would we have seen terrifying beasts like this, the infamous viperfish? But the alien environment still makes these animals hard to study. So it's worth appreciating how awesome creatures like this dragonfish really are. Whether it's a sea spider that resembles a face hugger or a grunt sculpin that resembles a Pokemon. There are species in the deep ocean way beyond your imagination. That we know of, there are nearly 230,000 animals in the ocean, but scientists think there could be as many as two million. Who knows what else is lying in the deep, just waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe, share the channel with your mates and click the like button. We'll be back next week with more awesome sea life content.